Hello viewers and welcome back. Glad to have you guys back with me at the shop. Well today I have a mess as you can see and I'm going to show you with this simple little DIY project how to organize your life right now. Anyway as I was saying you can see I have a mess here. Having tools this is an older Black and Decker tool, as you can tell. And I've had this tool for, oh, I don't know, 30 plus years. And it, it's a workhorse. It still keeps on working. It won't die. I love it. It's a great tool. This was not cheap when I got it. Like I said, 30 years ago, tools were a lot more expensive than what they are now. Things were not made in China. They were made in Japan, Taiwan, even here, believe it or not, in the U.S. of A. Uh, this one, I don't know where it was made. I'd have to look at the fine print. And I don't have the box anymore. Like I said, it's pretty old. Tools in this day either came in cardboard boxes, which this one did. The more fancy, expensive ones either came in wooden cases or metal cases. We didn't have blow molded cases back then. So most of the people got the less expensive ones, which is a relative term because if I remember correctly, this tool cost me, I don't know if it was $32 or $38 30 years ago. That's a lot of money back then. Now it's probably nothing, but back then it was a lot of money. But I went with what was a fairly decent quality product because I wanted it to last. And I made the right decision. It's still working. Anyway, so I like to keep my stuff all together. These attachments here all go with this drill. They all work together. These are just some loose bits that I have lying around. I, these did not come in a case. And other grinding attachments and stuff that go with this drill. So instead of having to hunt around for everything, I like to keep it all together. Originally, I kept it all in the cardboard box, but the cardboard box fell apart over time. I was holding it together with duct tape and glue and all sorts of stuff. Eventually, I got tired of it. And some people say, well, what does it matter? Throw it in the drawer. But do you really want to have this mess in a drawer with other messes and make it into a gigantic mess? And then you got to spend your time fishing around trying to find out what you got, where it is, how to get it, pulling it out. and it's I don't like that. It's just a mess. So what am I going to do with this? I'm going to make a case for it. I'm going to show you how to organize all this. Let's get this out of here. Move it off to the side. And Harbor Freight has a lot of cases now that they sell you that are the Apache line that you can get anywhere from $15 on up to $150, depending on what you want to get. So if you want to organize your tools, you can go down to Harbor Freight and something like this would probably fit into one of their $25, $30 cases. Get an Apache case, put it in there. You got a blow molded case. You're good to go. Perfect. Problem solved. But wait a minute, do you really want to spend $30 on a case? No, 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 no. I'm going to show you how to do it for free. Here you go, my friend. Harbor Freight case, free of charge. This is an old Centec case that somebody threw away. I don't know why. But same principle applies. If you have an old tool that stops working and you still have the blow molded case, hold on to your blow molded case. Don't throw it away. This is money right here. You can spend on an Apache case, or this is the same as the Apache case, and you can convert it for free. Now, let's look inside. This is the inside of the blow molded case. Nothing special, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't suit my needs. That's not going to fit. Can't close it. No good. Like that. Ah, I can't do anything with it. But I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Now this is much, much better. I can fit all my stuff in here and keep it all together. I'm just throwing it in right now to show you, but there you go. Problem solved. All my stuff in one convenient case that I can carry around, close it up, carry it around with me anywhere I need to go, and then open it up, pull out my stuff, and work. 
and not have to carry all this loose in my hands. So how do you do that? Very simple. We'll take this case here, get your Dremel tool, put a little cutting disc on it. Very simple. I'm sure most of you guys have these. A Dremel tool. This is another Black & Decker. But if you want to go Dremel, go right ahead. Put a little cutting disc and all you're going to do is cut around the sides. Very, very simple to do. I'll do some of this for you right now and show you how easy it is. So you turn on your Dremel and don't go too fast because you don't want to melt the plastic. I find that a low to medium speed is the best way to go because if you go too fast you're going to melt the plastic then it won't cut. You want it to cut. Turn it on and away you go. Cut around the edges. Okay, so here we are as you can see I cut around the edges of everything and all you do is cut around the perimeter and some cases are very convenient they have a little lip that you can just follow and cut through it as you go that will help you guide you as you go around all the way around the edges then we're done with the Dremel tool and all you have to do is stick your fingers in there and pull it out this is all hollow inside and these are two separate pieces the outside and the inside are two separate pieces uh, when blow molded cases are made it's really quite interesting I saw a documentary one time it's just a giant sheet of plastic that comes down really steaming piping hot from a machine then the molds hit it from both sides air is shot in the middle and they inflate and that's how you get these shapes and every case is going to be different then the guy well the molds separate the attendant takes it apart puts it down just like this and lets it cool off and then just cuts off some random bits and pieces around the edges that are sloppy which happens in all production and you wind up with this that's why this is so easy to do it is completely hollow in here and you can get rid of this inner case and have the outer case to do whatever you want with it so just grab here pull as you see me doing and you can see there's nothing inside there it is completely hollow and all you got to do is, you know, struggle with it, work it across, and some of these little bits and pieces are going to be attached to the bottom. Just pry them up, just like I did with this one. This one was there. Just pop it loose, and it'll come out. And I'm going to go all the way around, and I'm going to pull all these apart, and I'll show you the end result. I'm not going to bore you with it, but you just hang on tight, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here we are for the big reveal. So I went through, and I cut it all up, and I pulled it out off camera because that's boring and tedious I didn't want you guys to shut off the video <laughs> so anyway uh, one thing I will say I cut it all up into little pieces because as you saw I was pulling back in here and it's very easy to cut your hand as you see I did right there don't go crazy and start pulling and cut your hand that's not worth it the easier way to do it is to go through and start pulling some of it and then with the Dremel start chipping away at it and pulling it out as you see I cut it up into a lot of little pieces that way I can get further and further inside the case and you don't have to hurt yourself let the Dremel do the work you cut your piece the pieces up take them off bit by bit by bit by bit and you work your way down to a nice open case so as you see this case is now open so you see the difference you can see the difference now between this and this now I didn't do this part but for demonstrations you can see the difference you can see the before and after all this is just worthless junk that is taking up room in here in what can be a very valuable useful case and I know some people don't like cases and they want to throw stuff in a drawer if you want to do that go right ahead if you're a rather organized freak like me that likes to hit, have everything in nice orderly fashion this is the way to go and that's why Harbor Freight sells the Apache cases for people like me that like to have stuff organized and put away in a nice neat little package but before they started doing that I came up with this idea and I've done it for several of my tools people throw away their cases they don't want them I'll gladly take them and you can do the same thing too 
your old cases or somebody throws away a case and you want to take advantage of it, go right ahead. Okay, open it up. You have a nice, look at the volume in here. It is huge. You have a lot of space in here that you didn't have before. And you can put, like I did with this one, all your stuff in here to keep it all organized. This is the same exact case. I had two of them. And this is where I keep all my drill and its accessories nice and convenient and organized instead of rummaging around trying to find all those bits and pieces. You need more room, you can hollow out this part here as well. Take it all out carefully, don't cut yourself, and uh, you'll have a great case for absolutely nothing. This is a throwaway. Somebody threw this away. Why let this go into a landfill just to take up more space in the land, which this will never rot. This will never decompose. This will stay there for centuries to come until some alien species finds it and wonders, what did they do with these things? Well, why do that? Give it another life. Give it a second purpose. Make it into a toolbox for another tool instead of letting it go into the landfill. So, I hope you enjoy this. I hope this helps you to organize your tools and your projects. And you can hollow out this space if you need more. If you don't, this is convenient to hold down a tool if it if you only need this much, instead of having it rattle around, leave this alone. It'll hold your tool in place. If you need bigger space, you need it to go higher. Take this out and you'll get double the volume for whatever tools you need to put in here. Hope this helps you out. Hope you like the video. For more DIY projects, tune back in here. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I have another video. And I hope to see you back here soon. Thanks for tuning in and watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye for now.